Hey everyone in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, a cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I'd like to thank you for all your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs. Below there is a link to our latest cloud computing blogs. We love filming our weekly shows and remember to subscribe to our channel and click the notification icon to get the latest shows and news. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and news. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Below also are the links. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. This week, David and I talk about Australia's expansion into cloud computing, affecting the economy, the health tech in cloud, and the best cloud certifications and training. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week sees Deloitte merger, bringing together 44,500 partners and people. Deloitte in Australia, New Zealand, China, Japan, and Southeast Asia are coming together to create Deloitte Asia Pacific, forming a consultancy powerhouse across the region. According to, to Deloitte, the move will allow for greater investment and focus on Deloitte's customers across the region. Over the next three years, the five geographies together will invest an additional 321 million US dollars, which is designed to enhance Deloitte's ability to serve global, national and private market customers. Deloitte Asia Pacific will collectively have almost 44,500 partners and people with the potential to create a 10 billion US dollar business by 2022. Cindy Hook, the CEO of Deloitte Asia Pacific said, this is an exciting move for Deloitte in Asia Pacific region, the fastest growing region in the Deloitte global network. With the formation of Deloitte Asia Pacific, we have an opportunity to increase our scale in this market while enhancing our capabilities to serve our clients. This week sees Airtrunk make double hire to enforce its presence in Asia Pacific. Airtrunk, the hyperscale data center specialist, is on a mission to expand its presence across the Asia Pacific region. In September, Dana Adams will be joining the team as the new chief operations officer, and William Nicholson has been appointed as the technical director of critical environments. Dana will be responsible for driving service and operations as Airtrunk expands its presence across the region. William Nicholson will focus on the technical operations across the Airtrunk portfolio, including operational input during the design and construction phases of the projects. Airtrunk is a startup data center provider founded in 2014, specializing in the creation of hyperscale facilities with locations in Sydney and Melbourne alongside its expansion across Asia Pacific. Congratulations, Dana and William, on your new roles at Airtrunk. This week sees the newest defense technology. Google has switched on a defensive technology in Chrome that will make it much more difficult for Spectre-like attacks to steal information such as logon credentials. The new technology is called Site Isolation and has a decade-long history. However, most recently it's been cited as a shield to guard against threats posed by Spectre. This process of vulnerability, which was discovered by Google's own engineers over a year ago. This week sees Microsoft take on Slack with a free version of Teams. The already heated collaboration software market just got a whole lot hotter as Microsoft has launched a free version of Teams, which offers access to the group messaging and collaboration apps without requiring Office 365 subscription. Non-paying users have access to the same basic features offered in the full app with unlimited messages and search guest access, audio and video calls and screen sharing. Microsoft provides 10 gigabytes of team storage plus an additional two gigabytes for each user with up to 300 people supported. I'm Brad Nelson and I hope you've enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.